Welcome back to the ICF Mountain House build. I think in the last video we left off uh, finishing up, building up the driveway, and we're picking up where we left off. So we're uh, dragging, gonna drag this area with a drag that we made uh, to smooth out all of the, the dirt and kind of lift the rocks up so we can pick those up and get rid of them. Just get the dirt nice. And we're gonna lay down all this uh, geotextile fabric we got some commercial grade government spec geotextile fabric that we're going to use as underlayment beneath the gravel. This serves a few purposes. Uh, one, it help, helps keep weeds from growing up from underneath into your gravel. Uh, it helps hold the gravel in place. So if you've ever, if you have a gravel driveway, then you know you have to maintain it by keep adding gravel to it. The earth seems to just love to eat gravel. So this helps that problem. So your gravel doesn't just disappear gives you a nice base for your your uh, gravel driveway so what we're going to do is take about one two three four, about five rows of this deep and go that way this is these are 12 feet wide so we're going to take it all the way down the driveway get it all stapled in place we use uh, about eight inch staples to hold it in place until uh, we get gravel on it which won't be for another two days today is saturday gravel will be here monday uh, Lonnie's going to be here in a few minutes. We're going to finish cutting down a little bit of this uh, grade here and pushing some more dirt down the driveway to finish that up, get a ditch cut, just all kinds of dirt work stuff. So we're going to get to work laying down this uh, fabric and dragging the dirt with the four-wheeler. So let's play with that toy. This does not shed water as much. This is actually a combination of the two. This is a non-woven with a woven mixed in, it's kind of fuzzy. So different places on the property where it's real flat, we want it to drain a little bit more. Where it's slopey, we don't necessarily need it to drain as much. We want to kind of shed water off the, off the crown of the driveway. So that's why we got these different ones. And these are the staples we're using. They're just, uh, I think six or eight inch. And you just pound them in every few feet just to hold this down until we get gravel on top. All right, here's our harrow contraption. This is a piece of old warehouse shelving and some chain link fence and a couple cinder blocks and a few ratchet straps and, you know. This is hillbilly engineering and it works pretty well. Dust Bowl of the 1930s. Well, this Sahara dust storm that's been coming in has been making things really hard to breathe. Uh, right now, you can see we have some rain also coming in, but behind that, you can see how cloudy the mountains are, and that's all the dust. So, hopefully, this little bit of rain shower coming through will knock some of this dust down. But yeah, we've been having a real tough time breathing around here and uh, just uh, trying to, you know, eyes, scratchy eyes, and that kind of thing from all this dust stuff. Um, we are working on laying down this driveway cloth. Uh, we decided to nix the, land, the landscape staples because th there's so much rock in here that they're just bending. And uh, rather than having pieces of metal sticking up that could possibly end up getting in puncturing a tire, tire at some point in the future, we just decided to hold down the cloth with some rocks temporarily until we can get our backfill in. Uh, we're just gonna see how that works. Hopefully the, the wind that picks up doesn't, um, doesn't knock these tarps all over the mountain, but um, we're trying to do the best that we can on the fly here and hopefully we'll end up with a nice driveway sometime this week. Okay, well, just poured down rain for about 10 minutes, knocked the dust down. Wasn't really expecting that, but it happened. And uh, we got this cut down, we got a lot of it pushed over. We built the driveway up about this much. A lot of dirt went into that. And 
we're still going to push a little bit up against that there. Just kind of shore it up. Right now, I'm going to get the four-wheeler and get the drag and try and drag out some of these uh, track marks. Smooth this over a little bit. And then we're going to start rolling fabric down the driveway. And hopefully, let's see, two days from now, we'll have gravel. So hopefully everything stays put between now and then. So we're going to do that. driveway fabric down or rather the parking pad fabric still need to move a little bit of it around I'm still messing with it and I screwed up a little bit and I'm glad I caught it because I could have it could have been a really big screw up uh, started spreading this gravel and I forgot that 42 inches below that sleeve is my sleeve for solar and that needs to be trenched so it's going to go over there so luckily all I have to do is peel this back before we pour gravel man that could have been bad because trying to trench and cut through fabric and all that that would have been bad but as it is I just got to move a little bit of this gravel and then I'm gonna do that so gotta get to work so as you can see, we got the fabric laid out. There's about 600 feet that goes the whole way up the hill. Spent the last day or so getting it all rolled out and putting rocks on it. Hope the rocks hold for them to get it up the hill. Uh, we tried the staples. I think Jamie said staples will not go into the ground. Um, there's only that this much of the ground that was kind of roughed up. The rest is solid, hard pack. So the staples are just bending. So we're hoping the rocks will hold. So we can get a running start, go up the hill, start at the bottom, go up. We want to do it that way so that as they're going, they're packing it down more. Just fingers crossed that it holds, man. So the truck should be here in the next few minutes. And I guess we'll find out.
We were worried about it ripping the fabric or pull, pulling the fabric down toward us. But that turned out good. Sweet. First, I had 12 loads of non spec gravel delivered this morning before 12 o'clock. And then we were supposed to have Lonnie come to dig our septic. Unfortunately, there's only one truck, gravel truck running today. And so he's an hour away, so it takes him an hour to do one truck load every single time. And then Lonnie came uh, the time he was supposed to get here. And uh, unfortunately, kind of tore up all this, uh, this uh, driveway cloth. And now we just had the septic guy come and do it a second time. So we're gonna wait till he goes back down, then we're gonna fix it again. Fix it again. <laughs> this is the non spec gravel, which is basically everything is left after they run through the crusher. So it's got all kinds of different sizes of gravel, fines, rock dust, a little bit of clay, and it all bakes together pretty well and packs down nice makes a good uh, driveway bed if you can get it and it's pretty cheap so all good All right, we got our geotextile fabric down. This is the parking pad. And I'm about to finish this little bit right here to connect. I'm gonna um, kind of connect this so that it's fat and then it skinnies up into the driveway that goes down the hill. Last dump truck is almost here. Gotta do this part and then we'll get the box blade up here, spread it out, and we should be good.
driveway is finished and uh, so is this video. Uh, got all the gravel down. Uh, I'm going to smooth it out a little bit more and uh, it's going to rain here in about an hour and pack it down better. Uh, and that'll do it. So we'll see you in the next video. Appreciate you watching.